Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about a cellular organelle of the eukaryotic cells, which is also present in the prokaryotic cells, which are the ribosomes. Now let's see how these are different from the prokaryotic cells and what are the characteristic features of the ribosomes of the eukaryotic cells. So these are the smallest known ribonucleoprotein structures which remain attached with the rough endoplasmic reticulum that is RER. So these ribosomes they remain attached with the endoplasmic reticulum and those endoplasmic reticulum are which uh, of which type of reticulum those are the rough endoplasmic reticulum. So they may remain attached with the endoplasmic reticulum or they can also remain free floating in the cytoplasm also. So these ribosomes these are the important sites for the production of for the protein synthesis for the production of proteins. Now what is the process? Here these ribosomes they actually help in the translation process of translation of mRNA into proteins. So the genetic information which is present in the form of DNA that is first transcribed and the formation of mRNA takes place. This mRNA is then transcribed by the ribosomes translated by the ribosomes to form the proteins right. So these help in the these are the sites for protein synthesis. The ribosomes they were first observed by a scientist named George Pallid in 1953. These are made up of ribonucleic acids. So what are those typically RNA and not DNA. So RNA as in proteins. So RNA and proteins together they make up the ribosomes. These are very importantly not surrounded by membrane. So these are non-membrane bound structures. The typical uh, eukaryotic cells, the typical ribosomes which is present in like 80s type as we have discussed in case of prokaryotes that is 70s type. Now 80s type ribosomes, these are again made up of two different subunits, one larger subunit which is the 60s and the smaller subunit which is the 40s. Now what is S? S is the Spedberg unit. This is the unit of measurement of the sedimentation coefficient of the ribosomes. So this is 80s which is made up of two different subunits for 60s and 40s. So in this video, we have talked about a cellular organelle which is present in prokaryotes as well as eukaryotes. These are the ribosomes. The eukaryotic ribosomes are quite different from the prokaryotes. The eukaryotic ribosomes are ATS type. So here we have discussed about the ribosomes and its different functions played by the ribosomes in the eukaryotic cells. So I hope you have understood and liked this video. Thank you.